Hi everyone. Today we are going to see an important topic from psychiatric nursing. That's the classification of mental disorders. So there are two main important classifications for psychiatric disorder. The first one is ICD classification, which is given by WHO, and the second one is DSM classification, which is given by American Psychiatric Association. So first we'll move to the ICD classification. So the ICD, which stands for International Statistical Classification of Disorder and Related Health Problem, and it is given by World Health Organization, and that's uh, Chapter F, which contains related regarding psychiatric disorders, and they are following the alpha numeric system. And nowadays we are using ICD 10th edition, which is given in the year of 1992. And they are given uh, alpha numeric system already I told that means chapter F002 F99 which includes all the psychiatric disorders. So we'll uh, see chapter wise come to the first one F002 F09 that is the organic mental disorder. So this chapter which includes uh, delirium, dementia, organic amnestic syndrome. Come to the next chapter F10 to F19 that is a psychoactive substance use disorder. So if you come to this one we can see that alcoholism, cannabis use, opioid use, CNS stimulants etc. Come to the next chapter F22 F29. So this chapter includes schizophrenia, schizotypal and other delusional disorder. So in this chapter we can see that regular detail regarding different types of schizophrenia schizotypal disorder, schizoaffective disorder and other type of delusional disorders. And come to the next chapter F32, F39 that is a mood disorder. So in this chapter we can see related to the mania, depression, bipolar mood disorders and other type of mood disorders. And come to the next chapter F42, F48 there is no 49 chapter F42, 48 chapter that includes uh, neurotic, stress related and somatoform disorders. So in this chapter you can see phobic disorder, anxiety disorder, neurotic depression, dissociative convulsive disorder, OCD and somatoform disorders. Come to the next one F52-59. So in this chapter which includes the behavioral disorders which is related to the physiological and physical problem. The examples are like sleeping disorders, eating disorder, sexual dysfunction, etc. Come to the next one, F60 to F69 chapter. So in this one, we can still relate to the adult personality disorder, gender identity disorder, sexual preference disorders, we can see in this particular chapter. And come to the next one, F72, 79. So this chapter which includes related to the mental retardation. So here we can see mild, moderate, severe and profound mental retardation in this particular chapter. Come to the next one F82, F89. So in this chapter it is related to the disorders of psychological development. So here we can see various types of learning disorder, uh, the problems related to the scholastic skill and we can see the pervasive developmental disorder that is autism etc in this particular chapter. Come to the next one F92-98. In this chapter it, uh, it includes emotional and behavioral disorders which is uh, mainly seen in the adolescent period and childhood period. So here it is related to the juvenile delinquency, conduct disorders you can see in this particular chapter, tick disorders we can see in this particular chapter. And come to the last one, F99, that is the unspecified mental disorder. So the above chapters, uh, some of the disorders are not included. So everything will be comes in the last chapter. So that's all regarding the ICD classification. So come to the next one, that is the second classification, DSM classification. And the DSM, which stands for Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of uh, Psychiatric Disorders. And this is mainly given by American Psychiatric Association and usually in the United States of America or the US based hospital they are following this DSM classification and now we are following the DSM 4 text revision which is given in the year of 2000 and if you come to this DSM classification they are following the multi-axial system that means the disorders are classified into axis wise from axis 1 to axis 5 so come to the axis 1 which is explained related to the general psychiatric clinical condition. Come to the axis 2, they are explaining regarding the personality disorder and mental retardation. 
and in the axis 3 it is related to the general medical condition and in the axis 4 they are explaining regarding the environmental problems and in the axis 5 it is related to the global assessment in the last previous years they are explaining in the axis 5 so that is the dsm classification so these two are the main classification we are following in the psychiatric uh, we are following the classification of psychiatric disorders and worldwide we are following especially icd we are following worldwide because it is given by who and in india for easy purpose we are following an indian classification but it is not a standardized one so there may be different types they will be following like a neurotic disorder psychotic disorder but the first two are mainly we are using everywhere okay so hope uh, you are all understood regarding this one thank you